Hey y'all, I'm just gonna get right into it. I be contemplating going back and forth about posting videos and I don't even know why. I built my YouTube channel originally just because I wanted to have fun with it. I wanted to do a vlog, my everyday life. It wasn't at first originally about anything specific. Um, originally I started out with Cash and Go, which was something that was passed on to me by a supposed to be friend. But I really loved her, but he wasn't that. He was a guy that I dealt with for about three to four months. We lived together. He moved in with me after my ex of 10 years. Now, I've been ready to move on, but I was in love with who I was in love with. He paid a big part of my life because, for one, he was sent in from the beginning to love bomb me, but I feel like he caught feelings in the, in the midst of it. But he only had one job, and that was to destroy me. After 10 years of dealing with him, and I'm not going into detail right now because I have spoken about it, but I'm not trying to give dead situations power. I don't want to resuscitate anything. I just, Starting out with Cash and Go, it was passed to me by the guy I tried to move on with after the ex of 10 years. And I don't know if he knew that it wasn't a legit um, legit business, but he gave it to me as if it was. He told me someone had introduced him to it, but he also hadn't done none of the process, the steps, anything to see if it was really fake. I don't know who created the app. But, Anything I do, I'm happy-go-lucky. Like, anything I attach myself to, I do my damnedest to uh, make sure that it's A1. So, I was selling that product. I made somebody rich, but it wasn't me. Me amongst others made who other these people rich. But, I'm saying all that to say, when I originally started my channel, I legit thought that I had something to go off, and that was cash and go. I found out that it was faulty. Shortly after that, I, I decided to share with YouTube World what was going on in my life. And that was a breakup, that was betrayal, that was family betrayals, that was lies, deceit. And in that moment in time, I didn't have nobody to turn to but God. I didn't have anyone to physically vent to. So I created my YouTube channel. I created one before, but it was unsuccessful. I never got to the point of being able to go live, so I didn't continue to post anything. And I still rarely, um, you know, have, like, it's not so much that I don't have ideas for it. It's just that I guess my living situation, me going back to work because I was making revenue from YouTube. It wasn't through the YouTube company itself, but it was through my supporters, my viewers. They were the ones cash apping me, supporting me through my struggle. They were supporting me with my living situation with food and shelter. Um, Spirit revealed to me that some lies had been circulating about me and people were reaching out to those who were helping me somehow, one way or another, whether it was through cash app company, whether it was through email whether it was them going to people channel personally I don't know how they did it but they were able to to accomplish cutting off my revenue once they did that um that's where it really pushed me forward to go back to work because my cash out people just stopped supporting me period I had some people tell me that I was going to be sorry for what I was doing and I legit wasn't doing anything wrong um I have a 14-year-old daughter. She's my only child. She's the love of my life. And I'm fighting to get her back to this day. My family, my friends, peers, exes, co-workers, because these people, it's some type of cult, it's some type of organization where apparently they have some type of, um, well, they have certain individuals in common wherein they have had to been getting away with things because they wanted to involve me without my knowing and they wanted to harm me. And I realized it had been done to others. Um, 
everything was to deem me incompetent. Everything was to block my finances, my love life. Everything was to assassinate my character, defamation of character. Um, they wanted to make me small. Apparently I'm too big for them. People know who you are before you do, you know. It's like, I, I felt like I always knew who I was, but at one time I didn't want the responsibility. To whom much is required comes great responsibility. And I didn't want to be different. I did want to fit in at one point in time. And that's how I was able to be deceived, and that's how I was able to be amongst these thieves and deceptive people and evil people, you know. I feel like to each his own, once you choose a side, that's you, that's your life, you know. I will give you gems, I will give you advice, I will consult you, I will comfort you, I will nurture you. What I will not do is throw pity parties and I will not dwell on any situation because everyone do have a story. It's up to you to transform, to tell that story, transmute the energy if it's negative. It's up to you because life is truly what we we make it. I decided that I didn't want to be in the dark. I decided that I wanted to walk in light. That is my original aura. That is my original self. That is who I am. I was made young to dumb me down. I was forced young not to cry. I was forced young not to be um, emotional. Although I was, I, I always was. If it hurt me, it hurt me. If it offend me, it offend me. And it will offend, I can offend one. To be offended is not to say you don't hold yourself accountable and wrong. To be offended is simply sometimes you got me fucked up. And you put it in the nicest way to people that they got you fucked up. And understand me, when you're humble, too humble, and that's why I like to let people know that I'm balanced. People will play you dumb, gullible, weak, weakest link. Whole time, you're the strongest individual in the room. Never was the weakest link. You know, maybe the elephant because you didn't belong there. You know, sometimes those places involve people that we love. So we're attached to those places because we're attached to those people. You gotta cut ties. You know, these are things that I may have known, but wanting to love individuals, wanting to be a part of them, wanting them to be a part of me, I set aside a lot of bullshit. I believe in loyalty or before royalty. That's a real thing because if you're not loyal, and understand people say love and loyalty different, and truly, you know, maybe I haven't got to the point of, un, you know, maturity where I understand that because to me, if, I'm, if I don't love you, I'm not going to be loyal to you. I will have to be loyal to you. I will have to love you in order for me to be love, loyal to you. Even if it's work, I will have to love what I do in order for me to be loyal to it. You know, I think me, people miscon misconstrue that, you know, but or don't understand that they are at least a pair, that they go together, you know, they're not separate from each other, at least I don't see it that way. I see them as one and, one and the same because you can't have one without the other. Again, balance, you know, good and evil, balance. You have to have walked in the dark to understand the light and to appreciate it, you know, and to know that the light will always outshine the dark. You know, it's a choice that we have to make. I made my choices in life. I was young, dumb, a fool for the wrong people, like for the environment, for the, I, you know, I thought I, I thought I was doing something, you know, protecting people. And, and when I say people, it's my family. Nobody affect me more than my family because I can excuse others like, I'm not even gonna lie, I'm gonna be my true self. Like I may, I could slap somebody else's face, but I'm be hesitant to slap somebody I love. Cause I feel like if I love you, I never put my hands on you, you know? It's just, people want, you know, when I ask started reaching out for help, 
it was during a family crisis. It was nobody, everybody was turning their back on me like I was the bad guy. I'm not the bad guy, I'm a good guy, and I don't want to be with the bad guys. The bad guys feel as if they know, they know, you know, who I am as well, and they know my power, and they know the benefits of being just in my presence, and that's the only reason that they fight me, you know, but still, you know, desire me or yearn or need. I can't explain it. I can, but I'm just trying not to go too in depth because I was trying not to make the video too long. But I'm transitioning. These people, like, and I'm not going to detail once again, maybe not just yet on this video, but if you watch my previous video, you will get a, a inkling of what I'm speaking of. But I try not to get dead situations, energy, power, and I overlook a lot of things. You know, I don't really care for the he say, she say. I don't get caught up in the hype. I don't care what he she, he doing, she doing. If, especially if they not bothering me, they mind their business and they ain't got shit to do with me. I don't. Now, I do pray for those who, you know, choose to walk in a life of wrong in hopes of one day they'll turn around and do right. You know, it's nothing like living in your truth. It's nothing like doing the right thing. Your results are better. Your rewards are greater. You know, it's not worth it. You know, these are the messages that I just would like to get out and speak about because I feel like it's a lot of healing that need to take place. It's a lot of self accountability, self work, you know, it's a lot of things that people need to realize about themselves before they're able to even, I feel like, be in society, you know, um, and be able to function, you know? And when I say function, I'm like in a healthy way. You know, you're not, sab you know, you're not, you don't sabotage, sabotage, you know, you're not sabotage, you're not, you know, uh, secretly hiding or harboring hate or feeling, you know, you're able to be your true self and you're not second guessing yourself and you're confident in yourself so that way we can speak, we listen. You know, if you don't even believe what you're saying, me for damn sure, I damn sure can't even keep up. I do have a short attention span. You have to keep my attention, you know, when talking to me because if you're not talking about nothing quickly, if my instincts just shut you out, my instincts say don't take in that bullshit, you know, so I'm not gonna do it. I'm still healing myself. Who heals the healer? The healer. We heal ourselves. So I'm still healing myself, and I'm still recuperating. I'm still working on building my channel, my platforms, my businesses, things that I would like to do and pursue, but I am dealing with identity theft, fraud, betrayal, you know. And seriously, when things going on like this, you have to really, I feel like I, you have to think because even local law enforcement, different people be involved in them things. So you think you got to watch who you even talk to, you know? So that's why I just even, I make my videos and I get on here and I be bold and I be brave to even share what I share with you all because it is not easy being an individual. People only love you when you up the ass and you want your take. Not even an accident. And I just feel like we need more individuals. We need more like-minded individuals. We need more people standing up for what is right. It's easy to do wrong. That's the easiest shit to do. To do wrong. It was easy for me to curse instead of saying things. You know what I mean? The easiest thing to do.
you know. At some point, people broke to be really angry, not realizing they mad at themselves and need to be kicking themselves in the ass. Nobody's exempt. I have to self-evaluate. I have to get to myself. I have to encourage myself. I got to check myself. I got to realize when I'm right, wrong. I got to realize when I got to be the bigger person, got to stand down, speak up. Nobody's exempt. You got to do the same shit. Nobody just finna. You can't just want the title without the work. Nobody can have a title without the work except the kid that was born with the silver spoon who ends up being demoted because he can't even handle the fucking legacy. Like, come on now. He too gonna have to be hurt in order to realize or he gonna have to go broke in order to realize what he got and that everybody is not, you know, uh, Everybody's not privileged, you know? Don't take things for granted. Don't take people for granted. You don't run across good people that don't got a knife behind their back when they're shaking your head. So appreciate those who could be honest with you and be honest with those who are honest with you. They don't deserve to be lied to. A lot of people who demand respect, you know, a lot of times they lose me because you demand the respect I'm already giving you, so what's your real problem? I've dealt with enough people, had enough run-ins and altercations to know that you got an issue with me. You got the issue. If I have an issue, I'm going to address it. You're not going to wonder if I got a problem with you because I'm going to tell you. I don't have to tell Billy Bob Sue's. I don't have to tell none of them people. I'm going to tell you directly simply because I want you to know or either I'm just going to fall back from you and that way you know as well. But if I feel like we was, we, we was close enough or if I respect you enough, I'll give you that closure. But if I don't owe you nothing, I don't owe you no closure as you don't owe me no closure. I don't get closure a lot of the times. I accept apologies that I'll never get. You know, I just wanted to come on here real quick and chat with y'all. I really need to take my ass to bed because I do got to work in the morning. Right now, I'm paying 4.30, you know, in hotels. I'm paying for hotel, you know, uh, transportation time, get a car. I'm all trying to save up, and, and I want a second job, and I'm trying to get my business off the ground. And nobody don't have to support me, but I ask that if you can, will you? I don't sell ads. I don't sell drugs. I'm, I'm not a crook. I'm legit, you know. I just... I'm a complete individual, I just don't have the finances because I'm dealing with blockages from people that supposed to love me at one point in time when I realized they never did. It was all about money. I'm not all about money. Money don't make me. It just make a difference. I love y'all. Like, share, subscribe, leave a donation, leave a comment, give feedback. Interact with me, you know, get to know me, ask questions, go to my email, you know, I'm an open book. I'm not trusting with everybody, even if I talk to you, but I trust myself. And I'm good with people, and I read people very well, even when I ain't trying to, so, you know, it's just a gift that I do have. There's not much you're going to get past me. And if you do, it's because for my peace sake, I'm not, you know, it's not, it, it can't be, I must not be feeling too much threatened by it. Even if it is a problem that needs to be addressed, like, it's your problem how I feel. But anyways, I love love, you know. I feel like everybody deserves love. It's a beautiful feeling. It's a beautiful thing. Yeah.
Like, share, subscribe. I need to take my butt to bed. Love y'all. Good night.